part in the music business as a member of the Girl Group Choice. She released her first solo studio album, Can't Take Me Home, in 2000. This album was certified double platinum in the U.S. and featured two Billboard Hot 100 top 10 songs, There You Go and Most Girls. There you go, looking beautiful. Since her debut in 2000, Pink has released 15 albums, including Where's the Willow? greatest hits album, Overall, she has sold more than 50 million albums and more than 75 million singles. She has also had 15 singles in the top 10 on Billboard's Hot yeah, 100 my girl. chart. My girl and she has sold out arenas across the globe. Fame star. Yes. Pink is a proud recipient of five American Music Award nominations. Hell yeah. 20 Grammy nominations. Hell and yeah. Three Grammy Awards. One Daytime Emmy Award. Six Billboard Music Awards. Hell yeah. Five World Music Awards. Two MTV Europe Music Awards. Seven MTV Music, a Video Music Awards, including the prestigious Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award in 2017. She was also named Billboard's Woman of the Year in 2013. Her seventh album, Beautiful Trauma, which was nominated for a 2019 Grammy Award for Best Pop Vocal Album, is certified platinum and debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 chart. This album's first single, What About Us, is also certified platinum and received a Grammy nomination in 2018 for Best Pop Solo Performance. Pink will return to the road this March to continue her 2018-2019 highly successful Aww. and critically acclaimed Beautiful Trauma World Tour. This tour has already sold over 1 million tickets in North America and over 600,000 tickets with 42 sold out shows in New Zealand and Australia. Pink is also a huge supporter of various charities, including Make-A-Wish Foundation, Autism Speed, Human Rights Campaign, No Kid Hungry, and UNICEF. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage our honoree, Pink. Yes. <laughs>
and she did. And I, in turn, embarrassed myself, and together we have been embarrassing ourselves across the world for over a decade. Within that first 20 minutes of meeting her, I mentioned that our son's birthday was coming up, and she said, cool, can I bring the cupcakes? And I said, that's weird, and no thank you. <laughs> and sure enough, two days later, she showed up at our house with 75 beautifully decorated cupcakes for our son, whom she had just met. You know, like you do. And as it turns out, this was not just a grand gesture to kick off our friendship, but a perfect foreshadowing of the kind of friend she would turn out to be every single day. She shows up in the biggest way imaginable, always more concerned with everyone else than she is about herself. When I walked into the hospital room to support her while she was giving birth to this guy, she was pouring sweat legs in the air, carry at one side, doctor waiting at her business end, and she stopped her deep breathing mid-push, looked up at me and said, hi, are you okay? And when she couldn't actually make it to my birthday party one year because she was away on tour, she sent a pink impersonator in her place. A thoughtful, caring, and once again, embarrassing gesture. Little did she know that the woman they sent was eight months pregnant, had a thick British accent, and knew no pink songs whatsoever. It's the best gift I've ever been given. Alicia is always searching for ways to grow and learn new things. I taught her how to knit, and in one day she finished a blanket the size of a bedspread. She fell in love with wine and decided to go back to school, learn to become a winemaker, bought a vineyard, and just this year released Two Wolves Wine. Yeah. She and Carrie are raising Willow and Jameson to be two of the most loving, strong, caring, beautiful little people I have ever met. She gives time and money to countless charities. She is the cruise director for all of our friends and her whole family, cooking elaborate dinners, planning trips, organizing moon ceremonies, and throwing theme parties just because it's a Tuesday. Tonight's theme is dress as your favorite small kitchen appliance. Spoiler alert, I am going as a waffle iron. And while she demands perfection from herself and takes everything she does so seriously, she also loves to laugh, which is where I come in. Because where, while I cannot sing or cook or hang upside down because I get dizzy in just a spinny office chair, I can tell a very solid fart joke. So thank you for keeping me as your friend with my very limited qualifications. And while I think it's wonderful that Pink is being a, given a star on the Walk of Fame today for her music career, I will be giving you a star that I have made out of dried macaroni, band-aids, and glitter glue to you, Alicia, for being the best friend I could ever imagine. I love you, and I couldn't be more proud of you. Oh, why I'm crying. This is crazy. Who? I love them so much. Alan's going to present. The popular syndicated TV talk show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show. <laughs> That's my girl. Welcome to the stage. Walk of Famer, Ellen DeGeneres. Yes. Shy, 
lazy, <laughs> quiet, timid, doormat. No one has ever used those words to describe you. Only me. <laughs> Over her career, she's won three Grammys. She's sold close to 50 million albums. And of course, her greatest accomplish accomplishment is doing the theme song of my show, which... Hell yeah. I get to hear her every single day. You know, I still remember the first time I saw her butt. She was flying over me, one of her concerts, and I was like, that is a good butt. <laughs> I asked for those same seats in every single concert. Turns out she flies in different areas sometimes. I think as an artist, Pink has found the perfect balance. Her voice is strong, but not overpowering. Her attitude is rebellious, but not threatening. Her performances are dangerous, but awe-inspiring. And her hair is often overpowering, threatening, and dangerous. <laughs> it's good hair. I compete with your hair a lot. I've gotten to know Pink over the years, and I honestly can't think of anyone more deserving of this honor. Even though she's a huge international star, she is the most normal, grounded person that you'll ever meet. Yep. She really is. She's like just a regular person, which is very hard to get that balance of how awesome she is and how awesome she is as a person. But she's, a, as we know, she's a philanthropist who lends her support to causes. She's a UNICEF ambassador who educates the public about global health and nutrition programs. One of my favorite things about Pink is what a great mother she is for two children. She's not just raising her daughter, Willow. She's setting an example for her daughter on how to live in this world as a strong, independent woman who respects herself and others. She's teaching Jameson, he can just wipe his nose with his finger and then put it on the carpet right there. That's all that. I don't know how you thought we didn't see that. You can't just wipe your son's nose and then put it on the carpet. And Wow. She's also a badass <laughs> rock star, at least that's how she signs her checks. I am honored to be your friend. I love you. You deserve all of this. And more. I'm still emotional and I don't know why. I love this so much though. Day in Hollywood. February 5th. It's now time to hear from our honoree, Pink. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Pink. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you for standing out in the rain. This is surreal. This is really... I love you too. I love you more. Hey look, it's a van of people looking for people. Hi! What good timing. Um, I feel like I'm dreaming and if anyone pinches me, I'm gonna punch him in the left eyebrow. I feel like a lot of people probably only ever thought I'd make it to the walk of shame, but here I am. <laughs> Two little letters make such a big difference. It has been a trip lately, thinking back over the course of this career that I have somehow managed to have. I signed my first record deal 23 years ago, and I'm only 23 and a half, so that's crazy. <laughs> um, I thought I could have a hit record, but I never thought in my wildest dreams that I could have two decades of this insane fun with a family of people that I love traveling the world with and experiences that I have with each of you guys out there. Thank you. And it's been two decades and it's been meaningful and it's been awesome. I can hear you. <laughs> um, today for me is a celebration of something that my dad taught me and that is to thine own self be true. And if you walk along this boulevard and you look at these names, there is a power that lies in that. To thine own self be true. 
There's a power in believing in yourself. There's a power in not giving up on life and on not giving up on yourself. And there's a power in making a decision that while you may not be the best that ever did it, you may not be the prettiest or the tallest or the funniest or the most talented or whatever it is you tell yourself that you're not, if you're stubborn and you don't give up and you work really hard, no one else can ever be you. And today is an absolute honor today proves that um, my whole family is here yes girl and that makes it real and my friends and my fans thank you for all of it you guys make it matter you guys make it matter it's so good to see you thank you for coming um, and my husband he's so cute <laughs> He's my muse, and if he didn't piss me off all the time, I'd have not much to say. Thank you. I literally would not be standing up here if it weren't for you. So never change. Even though the theme is change. And my children, Willow Sage and Jameson Moon, you guys are my stars, and I would never shine without there you. There she is. Ever, ever, ever. Terry, Kenny, Silver, and Ellen, thank you so much for coming out here today and for being my friends and for what you do. You bring so much joy and light to my life and to the world that I, I can't even believe I'm lucky enough to know you. I'm so grateful for you guys in my life. And all of you, just thank you. My family, I love you. Everybody, thanks. I want to ask you to please help us celebrate by cheering as we unveil the star. <laughs> Yeah.